trip. Road trip. So today we're in the Tokushima Prefecture um, on Shikoku Island. We got here yesterday. We're doing a massive Shikoku road trip. So it's day one. We are feeling good. Got lots of energy, and this is already like one of the most beautiful areas I've ever seen. Our first stop is Scarecrow Village. <laughs> there, there. What? There's so many. <laughs> Let's park in here. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. They're waiting for us. Welcome to Scarecrow Village. Apparently all of these scarecrows are actually based off of like real people who either used to live here. There's even like some celebrities. So I'm sure each scarecrow has its own like story and life behind it, which honestly makes it even a little more scary because it kind of feels like these have souls to them. Wow. Put the whole fam here. Wow, this, these, they're so oh, detailed. Gosh. There's like so much going on. It's got eyelashes and everything. Yeah, they like really look like they're staring into you. So we're the only people here at all today. So we just have, it's just us and like 200 scarecrows. And it's a little bit creepy because I keep turning around and they look like real humans for a second. Um, and they're very detailed and everyone's wearing clothes and shoes and yeah, <laughs> it's a little creepy. Apparently there's a school with like, and it, the whole classroom's actually filled Really? With yeah, yeah. Let's try and find it. Yeah. Yeah, so the village is right along the beautiful river, the Yoshida River, and it's so nice. So this is a, a old abandoned school, and it's just filled with scarecrows. Look, even inside, like, there's people. Oh my god, there's people like sitting on the chairs in there too. The old ones look old, like they-, they Oh, sure, it, there's like, wrinkles. So, so they look wrinkles? Oh my god, you can go in. <gasps> no way. Oh, oh my god. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <Okay. laughs> there is so much going on. There, this is This is a lot. This is this is a lot. So apparently the number of scarecrows outnumbered the villagers 10 to 1 and you can kind of tell from this room. I am blown away. And so it's apparently all done by just one lady here in this village. She has done every single one of these scarecrows. Her name is Ayano and she is obviously very talented. And the reason why Ayano started making the scarecrows is because she was sad that everybody was leaving the village and now it apparently only has around 30 people left. So, I mean, if it was big enough to once have a school, that's a lot of people that have left. So, yeah, it's kind of like a sad tribute, but it's, it's cool that now it's attracting more people to, to visit here, so. We just 
drove about probably only 10 minutes past the Scarecrow Village and we are going to the Double Vine Bridge and Rope Car here. Oh yeah, the um, rope car's here. Yeah, apparently. And we, we also don't know how much of a hike this is or like if it's a walk or if it's a hike. Yeah, we're really good at just like, me especially. Winging it. I have no idea what I get myself into before <laughs> I get into it. So we'll see what happens. Oh wow, I see the bridge already. Holy Literally shit, already okay, there. we found okay, it. Great. Oh, I said shit. Uh, wow, we found it, holy sh shit. <laughs> <laughs> enough room for your foot to completely like fall in. So it's actually quite difficult. You can't just naturally walk. Yeah, let me show you my model walk. Give me one second. Oh. That's unfortunate. So you can look down and see straight down to the river down below. So it turns out the wooden cable car is closed, but it's beautiful and there's another bridge, so. Okay. So this one is the female bridge. But look how beautiful everything around here is. So cool. Okay, we're back on the road. We're headed to Mount Suru. So the road is only wide enough for one car. So you have to pull over if you see anyone and kind of like slowly go by each other. So very slow going, but it's so beautiful. Thank you for driving. You're welcome. We have like 35 more kilometers to go, but I feel like it's gonna be hard not to stop like 10 times because everywhere you go, there's these different colored bridges and you get different views over the gorge and it's so beautiful. They're just like little bucket seats. Yeah, little buckets. We don't want to be hiking or anything today. So there's a chairlift that apparently takes you up halfway. And it's just this tiny little seat. And it's super relaxing and, <laughs> and really fun. This is the best kind of hiking. There's so much to do in the Ia Valley that we didn't have enough time to do this four hour hike. At this rate, we could like walk faster. <laughs> it's true. We just got to the top, we've already got decent views, but we're just gonna climb, I think about 30 more minutes and we're at the summit. One thing that always happens is we're always underprepared for hikes. Yeah. Well, we, we didn't know that we were gonna be doing this today, but yeah. then other things turned out to be closed, so then we kind of were just like, oh, let's do it. But I hope it's actually only a half hour. 
Yeah. It's like, how dumb do I look? look I'm not, I'm not look ready it. for a hike. Okay. We're really hiking now. It's, um, yeah, it's quite steep. And we're headed to the peak. So we were hoping to spend some more time on the peak of the mountain here, but it is incredibly cold and windy. So we're just gonna go down to this restaurant that we found on the top of the mountain. And it's perfect time for lunch, so we're gonna check it out. Shanine got a tofu udon, I got a curry rice. We're so hungry right now, so this is perfect. So now we're back on the chairlift, heading back down. I can't even believe that there is a mountain top restaurant there. I don't know how the food gets there, but that's not my problem. We ate and it was good. It is absolutely beautiful here. It's just definitely, so far, been the most beautiful prefecture I've ever seen. All right, well, next up, we're going to, I think, look for one more bridge. Uh, we got a bit of a drive ahead of us, but we're just gonna enjoy the views while we're at it. bridge in the Ia Valley that people come to and it is incredibly busy like look how many people are on it and there's a line to even get in line to pay to go across the bridge. So since we've already done the other two bridges today we're just going to look at this one and go see the waterfall that's right beside it. Bye guys!